Rhaenyra is out for revenge. The first trailer for the second season of The House of the Dragon is full of incredible moments. From armies from different parts of Westeros gathering to attack, to Alicent worrying about what Rhaenyra might do. But the most shocking thing about the trailer in my opinion, is how the first steps of Rhaenyra's revenge are shown. In this video, we will be talking about what her revenge will be. What Rhaenyra is planning, and how this will change the House of the Dragon universe forever. And for more from the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Three-Eyed Raven. Two of the most shocking scenes in the House of the Dragon trailer are concerning Rhaenyra. The first scene shows her on the beaches of Dragonstone. In her face is reflected sadness or tiredness, perhaps after a battle. We also see scenes of Rhaenyra flying with her dragon Cyrax in what appears to be the Dance of the Dragons. All of Westeros is uniting for this fight, and this war will change the history of their families forever. To understand how Rhaenyra came to this position, we must transport ourselves back to the first episode of The House of the Dragon, when Daemon Targaryen was confronted by the king after mocking the loss of his son. Although this scene for many showed a cruel and ruthless person, who mocked the death of his nephew, it was really the basis of Daemon's character, showing him as someone who was not afraid to tell the truth to his brother, and warns him about the people around him. But Viserys was lost between prophecies and dreams. Otto took advantage of this to increase his power, and unfortunately, Rhaenyra was doing the same. Visions, prophecies, and supernatural elements are a key part of the Game of Thrones universe. Although many times, between politics and betrayal, that detail is forgotten. But in this universe, there have always been characters who despise these prophecies and visions, because they consider them a waste of time. And such is the case of Daemon. The power fight between Rhaenyra and Daemon occurs after Rhaenys gives the news that Viserys has lost his life. Daemon assumes that the High Towers are behind these evil events and begins to plan his attack. However, Rhaenyra stops him. Rhaenyra desires a diplomatic solution, so much so that she spares Otto Hightower's life, even though he was a traitor, and she as queen is supposed to stop the rebellions. To spare Otto Hightower at that time is something that even Viserys Targaryen himself would not have done. Even though Viserys was considered a weak king, we saw how he was willing to defend his place and his family. We see Daemon's frustration growing because of how Rhaenyra wants to act. Daemon has great military experience and knows what he must do, but he is constantly prevented from acting. His peak of anger is the moment when Rhaenyra tells him about the prophecy of Aegon the Conqueror. Daemon becomes so angry that he attacks the queen. King Viserys explained to Rhaenyra the existence of the prophecy of Aegon the Conqueror. This prophecy said that from the Targaryen lineage, the prince that was promised would come. A song of ice and fire. This Targaryen prince would be the one to face the danger coming from the north, and his duty would be to unite the Seven Kingdoms. This vision of the end of mankind was held by Aegon the Conqueror after the fall of the city of Valyria. We, who know the events of the Night's King and the White Walkers, know the importance of this prophecy. But for a person who has spent his days in different battles, as Daemon is, such a prophecy would not have much importance. Before Rhaenyra was the heir to the throne, the heir was Daemon. However, Otto's manipulation was such that it led to Viserys taking this position from his brother. Otto was constantly manipulating the king with omens and superstitions. We could even see how, after the birth of Aegon, Otto took the king hunting and told him of an omen involving a white stag. Viserys had also had the vision that his son with Emma would become king. Everyone knew that Viserys was a believer in his visions and prophecies, and Otto used this to manipulate him. In the last years of King Viserys's life, 
the emblems of the House of the Dragon were replaced by symbols of the Faith of the Seven. Even the Queen's dress changed. Now she wears dresses with stars which symbolize this religion. For Daemon, all these superstitions were part of the reason why Viserys was manipulated and the throne was usurped. He grabs Rhaenyra by the neck because he wants her to feel that she is in danger. He wanted her to turn her thinking away from superstitions and accept reality. Dreams did not make us kings, the dragons did. This phrase that Daemon says is possibly what he thought at the moment Viserys made him heir. Of course, this does not justify the aggression against his wife, but it is still a sign of Daemon's frustration with Rhaenyra being emotionally manipulated by the enemies, the Hightowers. But all this changed when the news of Lucerys's death arrived. Now time proved Daemon right, and the time to fight and confront the Hightower threat has come. In the trailer we can see how Rhaenyra and Daemon are mobilizing to attack and try to regain the throne. The rogue prince was right. This is no time for regrets. It's time for revenge. Rhaenyra's plan at first is a simple one. She will seek out bastard descendants of the Targaryens to claim multiple dragons that are unclaimed in Westeros, and that could join her side. The famous dragon seeds. These dragon seeds will be a key piece in this battle. Rhaenyra will lead many troops and will face other dragons. Daemon will be on his own, attacking the heart of House Hightower and capturing different places in Westeros. All these years Daemon was quiet, waiting for the death of his brother to take revenge on the Hightowers. His brother, King Viserys, is dead. The wait is over. The time has come for fire and blood to consume all of Westeros. On the other hand, Alicent has become a victim of her own circumstances. She is caught between a cruel, irresponsible king, such as her son, and a former friend who has sworn to end everything she loves. Alicent, although she is a character who has shown many virtues, is a character who could also become cruel, and even more so if they touch someone in her family. I think this next season of The House of the Dragon will show us many facets of these characters, which we had not seen, and that of course will explain why the fall of the Targaryen family began at this time. Without a doubt, I already wish to see Rhaenyra's revenge, as Lucerys will be avenged. A son, for a son. But tell me, what do you think about all this? Are you ready to see Rhaenyra's revenge? And for more videos from this universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Before I wrap up this video, I want to let you know that the videos on this channel are based on both the Game of Thrones and the House of the Dragon series, as well as the books by George Martin. If you want to learn more about this universe, I'm going to leave you our affiliate link in the description, where you can order the books or their audible version. And if you like the official t-shirts of this channel, you will also find the link to our store to order your favorite piece. Thank you for your support. And if you like this content, I invite you to become a member of this channel. Each contributor will see their name at the end of all videos. And for more videos with theories, news, and stories from the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You are on The Three-Eyed Raven.